Welcome back to Tesla Scale Workshop. My name is Brett Green. Over the last couple of months, we've been masking, pre-shading and painting Hasegawa's Messerschmitt BF109G6. I'm just putting a gloss coat on the model right now in preparation for decals. In common with many other modelling tasks, decaling has its own set of tools and accessories. We'll spend a few moments having a look at some of the items that will help you get a good decaling job on your model. Whether you're using kit decals or aftermarket items, it's always a good idea to have the instructions directly in front of you so that you can refer to them as you're adding the decals to the model. Two essential tools when you're adding decals is a good quality pair of scissors and tweezers. In the background, we can see a bottle of Microscale, Microset and Microsol. These are wetting and setting solutions that will help your decals to stick down properly onto your model and conform to panel lines. We also need something to soak the decals in. Any small bowl or dish will do. I use a ceramic microwave dish which I particularly like because the handles can be used to hold uh, the decals while they're, still, uh, while they're still wet and you don't run the risk of them floating off in the water. I also find that a single spot of dishwashing liquid in the bowl of water will help the decals move around more easily on the paper and on the surface of the model. So now that we have the gloss coat on the model, let's actually apply a decal. You'll notice that since last time I've added the, uh, the blue RV band, uh, some black along the wing walk and the exhausts, and also the yellow theatre markings under the cowl and on the rudder. First, we're going to cut a decal off the sheet. I always find uh, with large decals I'll cut out one at a time. With smaller decals I might cut out uh, two or three at a time. Now we want to soak the decal in the water. I drop it in the dish just for a moment or two. It doesn't have to soak for very long. I use the tweezers to pull it out of the water and then I just rest it, rest it on the, the handle uh, in order to soak for a little longer. While we're waiting for that to get ready, I'm going to take my bottle of Microset, give it a bit of a shake. The other tool I didn't mention before, which is essential to applying decals, is a, a nice, clean, soft brush. We dip the brush in the Microset, which is just a wetting compound, and we wet the area which is destined to receive the, uh, the decal. The decal will be ready by now. Uh, some people like to use a tool or a brush to encourage it off the decal backing sheet. I generally just use my thumb. You'll notice what I'm doing is holding the decal in the one place and I'm actually sliding the, uh, the backing sheet out from behind the decal. The less you move the decal on the model, the more adhesive will stay on the decal and the better decal will stick in the long term. So I'm just I'm maneuvering the decal around a little bit, just making sure that referring back now to the instructions that uh, it's going in the right place. Here we are. Uh, I can see where that's supposed to go. Looking at the panel lines, uh, that looks about right. Okay. So we're happy with where the decal is. I'm going to take a tissue now and just gently pat it down. Just to make sure when you're patting it down that you're not moving the decal at the same time. Make any tiny adjustments that you need to. And there we have, voila, one decal on one fuselage. Once the decal is a little drier, we can take the bottle of Microsol uh, and we can apply that over the top of the decal. Now the Microsol, in common with a few other products on the marketplace, will actually soften, almost melt uh, the, the decal and it will draw it into the panel lines. So let's, uh, let's just add that to our model. 
once again, same soft brush, and we uh, just brush it over the top of the decal gently like that. And now the hardest part of the whole decal process is we have to put this down and not touch it. We're going to see the, uh, the decal start wrinkling, which is a little alarming sometimes, but uh, that's just part of the process and it will actually flatten down and sit very nicely uh, in the panel lines. Once you've added the decals to the model, you might think that we're just about finished, but we still have a way to go. Next time, we'll be talking about weathering the model, also applying a flat coat, and finishing some of those small details like the undercarriage, drop tank and aerials that we haven't even touched yet. But that's next time on Test to Scale Workshop. Bye for now.